We're on the banks of the Serpentine in Hyde Park and we're unveiling our new sculpture of Mr. Darcy. It took three men over two months to construct. Uh, we installed it here this morning. Uh, it's 12 foot tall, which is about the height of a double-decker bus. We're really pleased with his appearance. We've uh, got a wet shirt on him, we've got sideburns. Uh, he's portraying many of the Darcy's that have appeared over the years in film and TV adaptations, and it's great that he's here at Hyde Park today. Well, you know, it's going to be a touch and go a couple of moments, but we knew it was going to work, so I'm delighted about how it's gone in. I think it looks fantastic. We did a survey of 2,000 TV viewers, and the most iconic moment was Mr. Darcy's emergence from the lake and his meeting with Miss Bennett. And we thought it was really appropriate that this helped launch our new channel drama, which starts today. We've had runners coming by asking about it, we've had pedalos and boats out there, swimmers, and even the swans have been a bit curious. Well, it's something new, because things change very slowly here, so it's quite stimulating. Oh, I think it's rather wonderful, actually. Fairly surreal. Makes swimming a bit more interesting, and uh, yeah, and I think the swans like it. Well, I've come for a run round, so I was going to go down to Kensington Gardens, but when I saw that, I thought diversity to come here to get a photo. Quite surreal coming down this morning and uh, seeing him there in the middle. Um, yeah, a bit of support along the way, it's very nice. Mr Darcy's here today and then next week he moves to Scarborough, we'll be uh, emerging from the sea. After that he moves to Lyme Park which was the scene of Pemberley in Pride and Prejudice and he'll be there for the next six months up until February 2014.